the most unique artists to join us from Indiana, right? All the way from Indiana is Denny Wainscott. Denny, you've created something. I've seen gourds in my life, but never to the extent of what you've been able to create. And uh, we're so thrilled to have you here at uh, Montauk Fine Arts Fair. Let's talk a little bit about you first. All right. You didn't come into this as an artist all your life. You were uh, working uh, in the uh, automobile industry, I hear? Correct. I was uh, the paint shop manager at Subaru Zuz Automotive. Made the Subaru Legacy and the Zuzu Rodeo. And uh, I got a very nice offer from GM to go with them for a while. And then I decided I'd had enough of that. And I turned 50 on a Monday and left corporate in America on that Friday and started doing my artwork full time. When did you pick up your first gourd and oh, wow. create what is something that is so spectacular? We will we will show our viewers. That's been about 14 years ago. I painted for one year. Then I happened to be reading an article waiting to get my hair cut at a barber shop. It talked about a tool they used to etch glass with. Now I thought to myself, why couldn't I carve on the gourd with that? So I ordered the tool, started carving, and it's taken off where I now do very detailed inlay work, carving. I use mother pearl, lapis, turquoise. Uh, it's really taken me for a long adventure. This is the first time we've come east. I do most of my shows out west, but I wanted to come out here and see the beautiful country here and have the opportunity to share my artwork with the people out here. Well, let's uh, share your artwork with our TV viewers. If you could show us some representative works. Okay. Well, this is my favorite piece. It's not my most expensive, but it's called Vision Quest, which is actually my philosophy on life. There's 64 feathers around the piece. The way I look at life, you're born down here below the feathers. The first few years of your life, it's easy. It's like going through feathers. You don't have any problems. As you get up here, your life path comes around this way. As you come this way, you run in the storm clouds of life. Every time you hit a storm cloud, you get smarter and you get stronger. So you continue to learn until you get right here to the head of the serpent. That's when, you, when you've got a decision to make. How are you going to live your life? What type of person will you be? With that, you get by the serpent. Then you have the opportunity to go through the maze of life. You start out here really confident in yourself. But all at once you say, wait a minute, I want to go up and towards the center. There's something wrong here. But you have to realize life is a long journey. Have confidence in yourself. And all at once you say, I made it. This is easy. But life's not like that. It throws you a curve when you think you've got to be. But still, continue having faith in yourself. Continue going forward on that path. You end up right here at the top where you belong. Now, that piece, I always leave the seeds in it. And the serpent always gets a green eye. That's for envy and jealousy. And if you conquer envy and jealousy in your life, you'll make it. That's why that is my favorite piece to do. That's magnificent. Speaking of life and, and dealing with issues in life, you're in the midst of, been, of dealing with, with I've got some a, issues. I've got a brain tumor. Um, the first doctors I talked to told me they couldn't operate on it. I talked to another set of doctors. They said the best you can hope for is that I would be paralyzed on the right side of my face, lose sight in my right eye, and deaf in my right ear. Well, my wife and I decided we had grandkids coming, and I didn't want them to know me that way. So we did a lot of searching on the internet and found a new type of radiation called proton beam radiation. And I had 30 days of that. And uh, two years ago, December 7th, was my last day of radiation. I'm getting along fine. Really, the only way you can tell I've had anything done is I've got four screws still on my head. I've got one, one scar here is the only one, but they put in a crease so you can't even see it. I've got one back here and two on the left side. So uh, I'm getting along real well. And, I'm also trying to help everybody that does have a brain tumor to learn about this new type of uh, radiation. But it's given dealing with something so uh, overwhelming and having the great support that you have, your lovely wife and family, but it seems to have given you a whole philosophy and creation and just looking at your pieces, how prolific you've, you are. You love life. Oh yeah, you, I mean that's one thing you learn from going through something like this. You don't uh, take anything for granted. You realize that every day, you know, when I, before I had the tumor, I get upset some days, this is a terrible day. We're not given any terrible days. Some days are wonderful, other days are a little bit more wonderful. So it's just how you need to look at life. And I, I try to bring that in my different gourds. I have fun with all the pieces. I, I name every piece. I always ask people, please come by and ask me why I name it this piece. I've got a little piece right here that I call in season. A lot of people think I deer hunt, and that's why I call it in season. Instead, this little doe, she's in season. This buck knows where he's gone. This buck knows he missed something, so he's looking over his shoulder to see what he missed. So that's why I call that piece in season. But I just have fun with all my gourds. Now this is more of a representation of what a gourd would Correct. normally look like. 
Um, can we talk a little bit about this piece? Sure, that's called Healing Visitors. The three circles on the sides here, that's Action Medicine Wheel, it's in the ground in Bighorn, Wyoming. And the paw prints are badger prints. I use the badger because the Hopi Indian look at them as a healing animal because they live in their ground where they get their medicines. Now that piece, I leave the seeds in it and leave the stem on it. A lot of times, I'll get a piece where I like the way the stem looks, I'll just leave it there. It adds to it instead of taking away from it. Denny, you've got some major pieces here that you've created. Can we uh, talk a little bit about these? Sure. Um, the biggest piece up here is called Strength of a Warrior. I had a piece I sold three years ago, or two years ago, for $20,000. I did a piece something like this that was called Spirit of a Warrior. I did that during my radiation. So that's the only piece in my 30 days of radiation was I got weekends off, so it's 42 days actually. I finished a piece like that. Uh, it means more to me. It has a little bit more detail than this. I put a price of $25,000 on it. One of my collectors said, I'll take it. And I had to explain that the only reason it was priced that much was because my family wouldn't let it go. Now this one is priced that is more representative. This is $14,950. Uh, it has a lot of the same stuff, but it doesn't have the same feeling to the family as that one. Now of course on all my pieces, gourds are three dimensional. It always seemed crazy to me that somebody would use just the front part. What I do is I go ahead and put my design all the way around them. I'm a little bit different than most artists. I ask people to come in, feel free to pick them up, look at them, they're just gorgeous. you're not gonna hurt them. So I, I put my different stones in, and I do one thing a little bit different. I take the pattern all the way underneath. And so anything I feel needs to have a pattern on or design, I put on the gourd. A lot of times people say, well, nobody will see it, but I know it's there. Denny, you're, uh, you're an original. How can our viewers out of the area contact you? They can get on the internet to go to morningdewgourds.com, which is my website. Or if they type in Denny Wayne Scott, D-E-N-N-Y-W-A-I-N-S-C-O-T-T, -T, just like the little town away from here. But uh, go on there, type my name in, you'll find a lot of search engines that will take you to my website, plus many of the galleries I'm in also. Denny, you're an American original, and we wish you good health and happiness and Thank continue you. this great art. Thank you. I appreciate it.